Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. Previously, Macron visited China with a luxurious lineup and felt China's great sincerity and vast development prospects. He has achieved many major cooperation results in aviation, navigation, energy and other fields, including winning China's 137 billion aircraft orders for Airbus and the addition of the second Airbus Global Assembly Line in Tianjin, which also joined the ranks of RMB settlement, providing a demonstration role for Europe to weaken the influence of the US dollar and avoid economic and financial risks. Macron's visit to China has also provided Europe with another very feasible new idea and new direction for development. During his visit to China, Macron publicly stated that Europe should be committed to finding a path of strategic independence and should not be tied to the United States and become a vassal. As soon as this passage came out, Macron was immediately criticized by the United States and many European countries believed that Macron's speech represented the interests of Europe, and many people also thought that Macron was just talking about it. Surprisingly, for the strategic independence of France and Europe, Macron rushed to visit the Netherlands immediately after his visit to China, and took the initiative to act as a lobbyist for China. After 23 years, French Macron visited the Netherlands. This move greatly exceeded Biden's expectations. This is the first time France has visited the Netherlands in 23 years. The intention is to narrow the distance between the two countries, strengthen cooperation, and promote more European countries to join the ranks of strategic independence and freedom from U.S. control. The Dutch lithography machine is an independent leader in the world's technology and plays a decisive role. Although the land area of the Netherlands is small, it occupies an extremely important position in the world science and technology. This is because the Netherlands has mastered the world's most high-end lithography machine production technology. ASML in the Netherlands Nikon and Canon in Japan jointly carve up the international lithography machine market. The current mainstream lithography machine in the market is DUV lithography machine, deep ultraviolet technology, and ASML accounts for 89%, ranking first. For the production of higher-end EUV lithography machines, extreme ultraviolet technology, there is only ASML in the world and there is no other branch. Therefore, ASML's market share in EUV lithography machines is 100%, and there is no rival in the world. The heart of the Dutch lithography machine company ASML is in the hands of the United States, and it is difficult for the Netherlands to decide the fate of its own lithography machine. ASML in the Netherlands benefited from the advanced technology and financial support of the United States in the early establishment of R&D and later development. As a result, after it developed into the world's top lithography machine manufacturer in the later stage, it was constrained by the United States. Its production line includes American the core technology and equipment caused it to be coerced by the United States to participate in the implementation of restrictions on the export of lithography machines to Chinese companies. Lithography machines are extremely important equipment for making chips. Although China is now able to produce new 22 nanometers chip lithography machines, it still cannot meet China's chip needs especially the production of high-end chips. For example, the Kirin 9000 chip developed by Huawei itself is a 5 nanometers chip, which cannot be produced due to restrictions. The Netherlands has joined the ranks of restrictions imposed by the United States, making it impossible for China to obtain a high-end EUV lithography machine. Once China has an EUV high-end lithography machine, China can almost achieve chip freedom, which is the last thing the United States wants to see. ASML high-end lithography machine is the core equipment for manufacturing high-end chips. 
Some people may think that high-end chips are mainly used in consumer products such as high-end mobile phones and will not affect daily life in China. They don't know that high-end chips are widely used in large-scale servers and mass storage data. A smart door. Without high-end chips, China will lose its priority in the world's top technological innovation field in the latest field of artificial intelligence and will fall behind step by step. This year, the United States wooed Japan and the Netherlands to restrict the export of DUV lithography machines to China, which further led to the chip crisis in China. DUV lithography machines are the core equipment for the production of 28 nanometers mature chips. Chips restrictions directly limit the manufacture of low-end chips, directly disrupting the layout of Chinese chips. The United States united with Japan, South Korea, and the Netherlands to form a chip alliance. In response to the rise of China's technology this time, one is to launch a trade war to restrict economically, and the other is to restrict technology and suppress chips in the technology field. While strengthening independent development, China is also strengthening international exchanges and cooperation, making friends far and near, expressing its sincerity and expanding its international influence as much as possible. What is right is more helpful than what is wrong. This time Macron's trip to the Netherlands and his intention to be a lobbyist for China is definitely the most unexpected thing for Biden. Whether we can actually achieve results in the end, let us wait and see. If a consensus can be reached with the Netherlands in the end to open lithography machines and chip cooperation to China, it will undoubtedly break the siege of the United States in terms of Biden's restrictive measures. With Macron's support, whether the Netherlands' restrictions on Chinese lithography machines will be reversed is still unknown. Although China also expects the Netherlands to get rid of the control of the United States as soon as possible and realize independent decision-making and development as soon as possible, but at present, the core technology of the United States is choking the throat. The Netherlands may not dare to act rashly for the time being and will not open the export of lithography machines to China for the time being. However, it is still possible to persuade the United States to open up restrictions, at least partial restrictions. Although the United States controls the core technology, ASML has the world's most high-end lithography machine production technology. Once it is urgent, the Netherlands may also die. After all, China currently contributes nearly a quarter of the Dutch ASML's revenue. Once the Chinese market is lost, the Dutch lithography machine industry will still be hit hard. It is better to ask for others than to ask for oneself. China still needs to put its hopes on the road of independent research and development. When it comes to solving the core problem of lithography machines, China should not have any hope for any foreign companies or foreign countries. The road is blazed by itself and peace and freedom are also forged. The Chinese people have never been afraid, and China will also calm down and move forward unswervingly on the road of independent research and development and mastering core technologies. China will also definitely master the core industrial chain and hold its destiny in its own hands.